Hi, for those of you who have asked, this is a complete walkthrough of Q Legal from budcat.com. I'm Bud Miller, the creator of the program. So at this point, I've started uh, by adding the included Lisp routine to launch the program, and I've also menu loaded the uh, included menu. So I have a sample parcel on my screen. All you have to do is click on anywhere on the parcel, on the label on the parcel itself. Right click, go to parcel properties. Be sure that inverse is checked, and then simply right click select all, right click again and copy. Now you can also do that from the tool space by right clicking on the parcel name and going to properties. Same process, select all, copy. That's all there is to do from the civil 3D standpoint. From this point on, you'll be completely inside of Word running the Q legal macros. So to launch the program, I can type QLegal, the command line, or click the included menu. Now, once you're inside of Word, the QLegal commands can be found inside the add-ins uh, menu. First time you run the program, you want to go to you're going to want to go to Show Preferences to set up the environment. Everything here is uh, completely customizable. You can add elements, take elements off change the way things look, add accents like bold. Uh, the template folder is where your templates are sitting. They can be anywhere. It could be a network drive, could be a local hard drive. These lists are populated whenever you change the template path. So if you want to change it to, uh, say, I have mine stored on the F drive under survey miscellaneous and Q legal templates. Now you see that the lists are empty. You can repopulate them by clicking. I want header, footer. That's my tangent curve. That's my non-tangent curve. The reason you may want separate templates for tangent and non-tangent is some people prefer uh, when they have a non-tangent curve to add chord bearing and distance. So I don't know if you noticed what I did, but from this screen, once you've selected your uh, template, you can edit it by clicking the edit buttons. For headers and footers, you're not uh, confined to any specific text. You simply place any text you want your users prompted for inside double forward slashes. And when you run the program, whatever is inside the slashes will be user prompts, which I'll show you in a second. So again, once you've edited your template, close it. Change your other templates to your liking. You'll notice that Create Legal is grayed out because in this screen, when you click Show Preferences, that's all it's for, is for setting preferences. Once you're happy with your preferences, go to Paste Civil 3D Data will launch the program. On the left you can see the raw data directly pasted from your Civil 3D environment and you should see your preferences. They're saved on the fly so there is no need to click any save buttons. Every time you make a change they're saved to the Windows registry. So now we can click Create Legal. First thing you're prompted for are your header prompts customize header prompt so I typed enter lands of between forward slashes so that's what I'm being prompted for every time you make a change the any what whatever you've entered becomes the default so in the case of a subdivision if I've done this ten times I wouldn't have to type anything they would be the same responses so the last entered response becomes the default QLegal is now parsing the data and you're shown a list of all the segments within the parcel. If this parcel were counterclockwise, I could use this macro to flip it to make it clockwise. This one happens to be, so I click yes. I'm then shown a list of the parcel uh, of the segments again to select a POB. In this case, I want to start with this course. Now QLegal will go through, parse the data, eliminate unnecessary data, and apply your prompts and your customizations and we're already finished. This is a completed legal description. 
in Word, ready to be finished off and finalized. Last thing you may want to do is use the built-in phrase library. So for instance in this course if I wanted to say to appoint a concrete monument found, I could simply find it in my list, insert it at the cursor, and there it is. These are the default phrases. You can also add your own, say new custom phrase. Add this phrase to my list, and there it is. You can also use the delete button to remove these uh, prompts and add your own. These prompts, uh, these uh, custom phrases are stored in the text file within the QLegal uh, installation directory. So that's when they can be found. So basically, that's an entire walkthrough that this course, uh, I mean, this parcel rather, contains around 30 courses and took me maybe 20 seconds to write. So that's a brief walkthrough. And thanks for watching and thanks for trying the program. And please uh, take a look at the other videos that get into a little more depth uh, piece by piece, whether editing templates, editing a phrase library. I'll do another video for installing and setting up the program. Uh, so please look for those. Thanks.